Libras, welcome to your 2020 tarot forecast with the Wellington Witch. I am Lorian, and it's an absolute pleasure and honour to do this with you today. So this is just a brief general reading, just covering the elements of 2020 that you should be aware of. We're going to be looking with the tarot cards here, but also looking into the times of year that you may feel more powerful. We'll also be looking at the kind of people that you may incorporate into your year or indeed who you may become throughout the course of the year, who you might be able to inhabit. So they're like little archetype type stuff that may be coming through towards you. Just have some incense on the table there. Right, so without further ado, let's have a look and see what information comes through. These are the Truth Seekers Tarot. Um, but they are known by other names, so Keep in mind, if you do like the look of these cards, they may not just be called the Truth Seekers. There's other names as well. I'm a Libra rising. You can use this reading to look into your sun, moon or rising sign. They want me to do the bottom card, so that's what I'm going to do. And then that one for the clarifier. So I'm an intuitive reader. If you haven't been here before, welcome back if you have been here and also welcome if you have not been here before. Um, so I'm just going to do a little bit of connection, I hope, into what's coming through. The Hanged Man. Now this came up a lot actually in the live reading that I did recently. Um, and this is basically saying that you may still feel like you go into 2020 in exactly the same position as you have been previously and I know that that's going to be annoying for some of you everyone likes growth everyone likes continuation but I do feel that this unique start to 2020 and the fact that you aren't really rewriting the rule book I do feel that it could be that you see things or you have known things during your time of suspension that you now can apply to how you want your 2020 to be how do you want your future to be what do you want it to incorporate what do you want to bring into the fold so to speak so it could be that you're now trying to ascertain what it is you want to focus on and what it is you want to just leave to one side so let's have a look oh the moon okay so the moon um let me just see how i can describe this for you there is a bit of imagination going on i do feel that some of you may be worried Hmm. Yeah, some of you may be worried about what 2020 is going to bring in. Like, is it just going to be the same old, same old, like the hanging man? Is it just going to be, you know, same stuff, different day, blah, blah, blah. I do feel there's some fundamental changes with this moon. There's a fear that you're needing to overcome in 2020, and you will. There's also a feeling of bewilderment and maybe focusing on, you know, in traditional tarot, the... um or in a lot of tarot, you do have them howling at the moon, but you also have somebody looking at a reflection. So looking at what you maybe desire so much that the real thing, the good things, are happening right under your nose. So I feel like some of you, you may be thinking, okay, I'm going to readjust my focus now. I'm going to actually readjust to look more on what it is that I want, but also what's happening now so how you can incorporate the fundamental stuff that you are going through but into that focus of it's really difficult to describe what this is coming through as so it's kind of like you're not just looking at what you desire anymore you're looking what you have in order to create that desire into reality that's what I'm trying to say so utilizing everything that you have at your means every skill every development every connection every psychic intuition everything like that you're looking exactly what's in front of you the good stuff that you have and you're harnessing that improving that and actually developing what it is you want and then that one oh princess of wands lovely so she comes forward with some messages, some curious enthusiasm, and I feel like you're going to discover a lot of things this year. So she's good. She's the harbinger of good news. She's the bringing forward some really good emotional, um, energetic, yeah, energetic connections. I do honestly truly believe that there's some exuberance going on here. I feel like there's self-discovery 
very much seems to be a theme for you guys. Self-discovery, understanding exactly how strong you are. Maybe there's some rocks you haven't overturned yet in your life and you're just trying to continuously see what it is you can bring to the table. You can bring a lot to the table. But I feel that there's something coming in here that gives you this edge. The Princess of Wands confirms it to me. There's something that's messages, um, enthusiasm, again, discovery, trying to involve your highest good, your highest self in the mix here. And I do believe there's going to be creation. You're creating something new. It feels very youthful energy. And I think that you're probably going to have some, you know, like um, people say kids have an amazing sense of self you know they know what they want and they know when they want it which is obviously now and they also there's like this feeling of oh they're indestructible that's the feeling that i get you're getting that back again that confidence ten of wands okay so this is completion so tens are all about completion but they're also maybe about things have been heavy things have been weighing on you and now i think is the time to decide which are your responsibilities and which are those for you to discard so if you're focusing on 15 different jobs, 15 different responsibilities, doing this for somebody, this for somebody, this for somebody, this is now time to shake that away. So let's have a look and see the archetype of who you may be or who may be coming into your life. Okay, this one, Samaritan. Again, the thing is that you don't have to collect everything for everybody. You don't have to do the stuff for everybody for all the people who ask you to so this is could be you or it could be somebody you're bringing in in the light attribute it refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore and for the shadow attribute it exacts appreciation and recognition for the help you offer so if you can get the balance right because you're always about balance you're always social justice connections i feel like this is saying that maybe don't be too frivolous with your joy, with your help, with your connections here. Just be as patient as you can be. I'm getting a lot of orange here, obviously. So maybe there's something to do with your sacral chakra, carnelian for your creativity. Make sure that, you know, even though you may not care for somebody, you just listen to them, you hear them out. You know, you do something that's not going to add to that bunch of Oh God, I've got to cut all this around with me now. So it's just something I feel that you're going to achieve here, that you're going to also treat yourself with kindness as well. But you do help a lot of people. There was one card that did want to come through, Advocate, similar. So this is inspiring you to put compassion to action or embracing negative causes or committing to causes for personal gain. So I don't see you being the shadow attribute. You would be if you allowed things to snow you under, but I honestly feel that you're going to be helping people a lot this year. And I don't mean physically either helping them move or helping them do something. It just, to me, means that you may be even be helping them by creating. You may be helping them by being you. You know, it's not necessarily somebody who's going to go out their way or similarly this is the energy you can attract you can attract good samaritans and advocates of your work and advocates for you know what you want to create and who you want to bring in so the time that you are going to be most powerful oh a super moon now we normally do get about one or two a year and i don't know quite when they are in 29 2020 sorry but emotions are running high super moon this is basically your superpower <laughs> So I do feel this is going to come in at a particular time for you. You will probably feel like your intuition is at its peak. You'll be definitely going into a certain drive of energy, maybe healing. You may actually be a healer. That's something that's just come up. You may be a healer, maybe getting into nursing, something like that, Reiki, something. But you're definitely healing. You're healing with words. You're healing with communication. You're healing all the time and healing yourself in the process. This is a brilliant collection here. I know it's not as in depth as maybe some of you would like because it's a general reading. <laughs> There's many people that may watch this video who are Libras or Libra rising or something else that I can't possibly encapsulate every single individual flex. Um, if you are interested actually in getting a 2020 reading, I do have links below to mine, but ultimately I feel like all of you are gonna heal in some capacity. 
and all of you are going to be able to give back in some capacity. So as long as you keep that in your heart of hearts and you keep that on the connection that you want to get and you're connecting, you will get an advocate, you will get a Samaritan, you will be both yourself. I feel this is you elevating and realising some of the stuff you've taken on board is no longer yours. Previous hurts, previous wounds, throw them out of the way. But I hope this helps you, my darling Libras. Do let me know in the comments below if this resonated with you. I would love to hear back and see how things go for you. If you would like to leave a comment, please do. And again, all the ways to contact me or get a reading with myself are in the description box below. But in the meantime, I'm sending you so much love and happiness and joy for 2020. Thank you for spending the rest of this year with me and the whole of 2019. I really do appreciate you and I can't wait to see what 2020 brings. Take care, guys. Speak soon.